Hello, welcome back to another tying tutorial. So today I'm going to tie a patch rubber leg. This is one of my favorite knit patterns, especially during the summer. You can fish this all year long, but it's really effective like June, July, August, September. Because uh, there's always stone flies in the river. Uh, it's, it's, it's a pretty easy tie. It's just sometimes working with the legs. It, it, it can be a pain, but you know, after a while, you, you get to hang over. I'm gonna use a size six wet fly hook. As always, you can always use whatever hook you want. Using a 316 some brass bead. I'm gonna use black UTC 140. I'm gonna start my thread towards this back here. Towards the back. The reason I'm starting at the back, I'll show you in one second. You're gonna take your bobbin threader. You're gonna put that through the front of your bead. Then you're gonna take your fly flex, band flex, uh, flexi floss, whatever leg material you're using. You're take that, double it over, slide that in your bobbin threader. And you're going to pull this out the front of your bead. This step is entirely optional. I just think it makes it look a little more realistic because there's antenna coming out the front of the bead, and that bead like they looked like a head of a stone fly. Okay, now you're gonna put all this on top of your hook. And you're gonna give it a slight twist or a slight pull while you're holding it towards your your body, so your thread will put it onto the top of the hook. Okay. You can add add lead wraps and stuff if you want. Here I'm gonna snip the tail. And then I'm gonna snip that part right there. Trim it down a little bit. Now you're gonna take some variegated chenille. Typically it's coffee and black. Tied them in straight, straight black, straight brown, and I, you know they work fine. You're gonna strip, strip some of that off to expose the core. Tie this in. And then you're gonna go about probably up to the half, half the hook shank, maybe a quarter. Cut you off another piece of uh, flexi floss or your leg material, and then you're going to cut that piece in half. You're going to take this, put this around your bobbin, get that out of the way, put it around your bobbin so you have it in the middle, and then you're just going to place that right there in the middle. Going to wrap forward slightly. That way you splay it out a little bit. Then you're gonna do the other side. I'll do this without trying not try not to hit hit the camera. Try to get it in the middle of that hook if possible. I mean, you could always adjust it later. Then do the same where you splay it out. Okay, and then you're gonna take your thread and come all the way back up to the top. Now, this part can be a little pain to do. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my thread and I'm gonna wrap around those front legs a couple wraps. And then I'm gonna take the back legs and wrap around that as well. That'll hold hold that out of your way. So when you start wrapping, oops, sorry, hit the camera. Start wrapping, they're out of the way. I just hit the camera again. You're gonna wrap this forward, make touching wraps until you get to back, your back legs. And I got that all tangled up in my bobbin. And you're gonna unwrap so that way that comes back forward 
and then you're going to pull those back and you're going to wrap in between the legs okay and you're going to unwrap those front legs and then continue to wrap forward and tie your chenille off Build up a little bit of a collar right there. And a whip finish. Take your thread. And you're gonna pull all these legs down. cement or UV resin. I'm using solar res bone dry. There you have it. Past rubber legs. One of my favorite nymph patterns to fish, period. Uh, it catches tons of fish. It, I've caught tons of big fish on this. Anyway, I hope that helped you out.